Hello friends, welcome to my video. In this video, I will show you how to design a simple casino type game in MATLAB using App Designer. So the UI, the interface of our game will look something like this, where there will be a dial which will rotate as it's in casino and if based on the uh, different position of this, the player gets the points which will be scored uh, in the, the below and he'll get the uh, respective scores and then of course you can choose to either have um, uh, money into it or just for fun you can play it's, some, it's a kind of like simple uh, game let's design this in MATLAB using app designer so let's first create a new app designer let's save it mm, I will name it casino game I don't I don't know why, but I like it saying that. Okay, I'm not sure what's the problem. Okay. As you know. Okay, I think by mistake I entered some a special characters in button probably. Okay, so let's start. So, to start with, we'll need a... It's very simple, although it looks very fancy probably uh, in that. So, I need a gauze. I just remove this make it bigger yes and then probably i can have from minus 100 to 100 position is fine and first let me remove these uh, numbers i don't think i need numbers so uh, you have to just change the color of the num background color of the font as the same as what it is that of dial so it will disappear it won't, the numbers won't appear so now my numbers are gone now what I can do is probably I can remove the minor ticks as well so now it looks better now let us let me first give the color 2, 3, 4, 5 I think I need 5 colors so first I need from minus 100 to uh, I, I, I will do it for the 40 so from minus 100 to minus 60 which is somewhere here yeah then second will be from minus 60 until minus 20 then minus 20 until 20 so I'm doing it for the scale of 40 of course needless to say you can choose your own uh, whatever you want to choose 60 and then this one will be from 60 to 100 now let's give the color so last one probably I'd like to give this green the second last probably let me give blue mm, this blue okay or, or probably this blue and then then probably for this one I'll give okay and for third one I'll give uh, yellow fourth one I'll give orange fifth I'll leave it as it is and yeah I'll leave it red first one probably I'll change from this green to this one looks, looks more bright yeah better okay so once I've given the color now let me give that um, some some message you can play with this as well because you can have that like color code but let me give quickly the labels so for labels you can choose the labels and you can choose your own fancy names what you want to give probably I will give gone your gone kiss yes and I can just increase the font size probably to 22 make it yeah and then I can have control C control V I'm just doing a control C control V nothing more nothing great so this is gone this is probably Save. Oof, is just saved himself. Okay. Probably can put it somewhere here. And this one will be. Just okay. No, no. I think I uh, by mistake I pressed uh, Control G because of which it uh, uh, undid whatever I did. Just okay. Yeah. 
No, this is fine. I do another control C, control V. This is, I think, bonus. And then this is more jackpot. Wow. Jackpot. Yeah. You, you can choose the message, uh, whatever fancy message you want to choose. I just wanted to show you how you can really do it. Probably if the space is less, we can make it a little small. Yeah. Okay, now we'll need a button over here to invoke the game, initiate the game. And I play. I will make it again a bigger of, say, for example, 24. Make it bold. Yeah. And then to show the values down, I can use this. Either I can use any of these numbers also, or otherwise I can use the spinner, is what I had used in my. Uh, uh, image so I will just use this one I will just delete this and I will make as big as possible ok I will bring it to the mid and again I will increase the size to say for example 26 or even more 30 I will make it 30 26 yeah good looks good yeah and apart from that, uh, I don't want to enable it because I don't want the user to change it, so I'll just gray it out. So this is the UI. That's done. Now let's do the coding. So for coding, it's very simple. We have to just go to the callback of this play button. If callback is not there, you just click on this add button, push back callback. And over here, and over here we can just, what we can do is, okay. I mean, you can play it very simple also, but I would like to make it a bit more fancy. So let's do one thing. Uh, let's do it for in an iterative way for probably 1 to 20 times and each time I'll pause it for 0 0.5 seconds so that you can see the this dial moving in each 0.5 second it will change and for me to change it first let me create a random number between an interval so my range of this dial was if you remember it was from between minus 100 to 100 and once we have this random number what we can do is we can position our dial based on this random number so our gauze is nothing if you select on this gauze in this uh, uh, app layout or image you'll get the correct uh, handle of that how you can access that particular uh, UI so it's app dot gauze dot value should be equal to r and also what we can do is we can set the similarly the value of the spinner also so spinner is nothing but app dot spinner if you are in confusion you can just select here and it will point to the right uh, one and so we can have app dot spinner dot value also equal to r that's it done so once you start this it will spin for 20 times for at an interval of 0 0.5 seconds and it will set it but one problem is like, how will you know it's ended? So let's make it a bit fancy. Let's make it a bit of more colorful. Let's bring some color over here. So for that, what we can do is we can set the background color of this gauze to something. So right now, if you see the background color, it's one, one, one. That's probably the normal, the default one. So we can set it something. So we can go to app dot gauze dot background color and let's play with this rgb concept so first let's set it r which is 1 g will be 0 this will be 0 so this is my percentage red color now after this let's pause it for probably one second so that it's visible to your player that something is happening and we'll do it for after r we'll do it for green which will be the second one will be one here so this is for green color and in this one it will the blue so once we have it what we can do is probably we don't need the last pause
Yes, you can just play it and let's see what happens. So this is added using casino file, casino game, unexpected bracket, okay. So, so probably the problem here is we have to put a, a small bracket because we have to give the range of that particular variable. Now let's see to simulate. Yeah, at least it came up. And if you start playing, perfect, see. So this is changing, this is changing, so you, you player can cross his fingers and wait and watch what will be his output or what will the, whether he will win a jackpot or gone or something. Okay, he's gone. And also one more thing, one more fancy thing what you can do is, okay, so see in the end you left it as blue, so that's why uh, it came and these numbers are visible. So to make it back, so what we can do is probably we can go back to the normal default one which is one 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 all one so default color default color so if you play it again so a player will have to wait for around 10 seconds because you have done the coding so you will know like there are 20 iterations of 0.5 seconds so he has to wait for 20 10 seconds after that yeah, so he's again gone. So it's minus 66. So you can probably play with say for example 100 uh, bucks or something like that and in, if he's gone he has to give minus 66 out of it. If he wins he gets that much of amount. So if you play again probably I hope he doesn't get again a gone guess or saved. He gets some jackpot or bonus. So a player will love if he gets more bonus and more jackpot rather than getting gone. So he's getting somewhere. Okay. So he gets plus 17. So he gets like he puts 100 bucks he gets 117 bucks back so this this is the way you can just have fun with your friends like you can just make this quick app game and uh, just distribute it with your friends and just play with it okay so before i end this video i will also i will also show quickly how you can make a uh, app out of it so that you can distribute easily to your friends you have to just go to this uh, uh, package in the design under designer tab package app and just click on this package and that's it, it and it will create a package out of it you can go to your metal browser and you will get say the installer file here you have to just double click the installer and it will get installed on your inst uh, app menu and you can just play with from here uh, so it's already there so that's why you probably it will, the files are getting overshadowed but if you distribute it to your friends it won't happen so since now i change the folder it will create yeah so then you get a button on top of your matlab and you can distribute and of course if you have a, a matlab coder or something you can distribute it to your uh, you can create an exe out of it and you can distribute to your uh, friends like an exe and they can play it on your computer on their computer yeah Okay then, uh, thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, please put it in my comment section. And if you liked it, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you and have a nice day. Bye.